I think the thing that's really come to the forefront, really kind of shine like a bright light during the pandemic is our technology and our ability to data share. We really did not miss a beat in transitioning our work to pretty much an all virtual 100% telework environment. And this is not just within the US. I regularly Zoom with uh, scientists all over the world. So the worldwide scientific community was able to engage by using technology. And it's really kind of gratifying to know uh, how committed so many people are to helping science move forward and try to get you know, the best treatments and vaccines that we can out to everyone, not just in the US, but we hope in the whole world, we hope our results you know, will stand up worldwide. I'm Sarah Dunsmore. I'm a program director at NCATS. I work in the Division of Clinical Innovation, or DCI, and I work for a project called the TIN, the Trial Innovation Network. And I'm currently the project manager for Active 6. Active 6 is part of a suite of COVID-19 therapeutic clinical trials. The number six means it was the sixth master protocol to be designed by a public-private partnership group that NIH called together at the very beginning of the pandemic. Active 6 is unique in this suite of COVID-19 therapeutic clinical trials because it's testing repurposed drugs, and those are existing drugs that are already used to treat other diseases, things such as asthma or parasitic diseases. And um, they have known safety profiles. So it means if they do happen to have uh, efficacy or that they're uh, able to treat COVID-19 in a positive way, we have known safety profiles on these drugs and it's really easier and quicker for us to get them out to patients. One focus of Active 6 is to really try to reach these areas of the United States that are not traditionally served by academic medical centers. So we really want to reach the participants who may not have had the chance to be involved in clinical trials and to continue to reach them uh, even you know, after throughout the pandemic and after Active 6 is over. The other unique thing about Active 6 is it's the only active trial to focus on symptom relief. Most of the other active trials focus on more severe forms of disease, but in Active 6, we're focusing on mild to moderate disease, uh, patients who are still be able to be treated at home. Oh, the hope for patients who come out of Active 6 is that you will get better, feel better earlier. You won't have to take as many days off work. Certainly you will, will not have to go to the hospital. You'll not have to be intubated. You will not have a severe disease. And, and the other hope is um, you will participate in this new way of doing a, a trial. Uh, this is an all electronic clinical trial and that's fairly unique. So you'll be helping advance the science of doing clinical trials by do also participating in Active 6. And we hope that this platform, this new way of doing clinical trials will continue as a lessons learned for future clinical trials, even non-pandemic, non-COVID-19 clinical trials. To me, being a translational scientist is being um, a good communicator. And it's also being kind of a boundary pusher, someone who's not afraid to think outside the box and not afraid to find new ways of doing things. It takes, you know, a broad, um, unique skill set. I mean, you have to have very specialized knowledge in certain areas, but you have to be able to step back and look at the big picture. I have worked for NIH for 15 years. I had about 15 years in academia before that. So I've been through a long period of training, often doing what were slow experiments that you never really knew if they were going to affect patients or not. And then all of a sudden, because of pandemic, I have a skill set for almost every day. I have a task or do several things that just have to be done to move COVID-19 therapeutic clinical trials forward.